greetings to all my wonderful subscribers yet to be subscribers and everyone that will be clicking on that watch button to view my videos here is to wishing you all a blessed working week may we all seize every opportunity to make this week great and i pray mightily for his grace on us all amen please kindly give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to our channel thank you the news Renault reacts to reported attack on military base says bandits na jihadist terrorist a social political activist Reno Omokri has expressed skepticism over the alleged attack on a military base in Zafara State, where about nine Air Force officers, two policemen, and one soldier were reportedly killed. There have been reports that armed men suspected to be bandits on Saturday attacked the forward operating base in Matumji. Dan Sabdo, local government of Zamfara State, and gone down some military officers, including policemen. Daily Post learned that unspecified number of the assailants were also neutralized during the attack. Reacting in a post on his Facebook page, Reno said he hopes that the report is not true, stressing that if the attack is confirmed to be true, the bandits should be renamed radical jihadist terrorists. His post reads, I sincerely hope the reports that bandits overran a military base in Zamfara yesterday and killed nine Air Force officers, two policemen and one soldier is untrue. But if it is, then the time has come to stop calling these people bandits and start calling them by their rename radical jihadist terrorist where is safe in nigeria nowhere general buhari went to the southeast to promise ohanese in the boat security is Kasina secure is zamfara safe is sokoto peaceful if he can't secure his own region then is it the southeast he will secure Buhari himself is part of the problem. But please kindly give this video a thumbs up and please click on the notification button down below. I see you even as you do so. May the blessings of God never cease to overflow in your lives as you all support my channel. Amen. It's always important to know what you wish and pray for. Buhari is really the architect of his own misfortunes. What was his sincere intention when he imported this menace into the country in 2015? What was his sincere plans for Nigerians when he threatened making the country ungovernable for Jonathan? What did Buhari mean when he was talking of bleeding baboons and the likes? Here he is today, six solid years after completely clueless on the situation and what to do. Please kindly give this video a thumbs up and please, if this is your first time here, click on the notification button for more updates. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.